Hello everybody, this is Dr. Kevin Novak again and uh, this video is just a quick video to tell you about somebody who actually after watching my YouTube videos called Sean's Fish Tanks uh, Sean is from uh, Australia and he found all the makings to make the biosinosis clarification baskets for the anoxic filter and in the links below you will find his YouTube YouTube channel and he's done two YouTube uh, videos and one video he shows his Oscar tank which he is going to add the biosinosis clarification baskets to and the other video is on his discus tank which he shows how he made up the basket and how he was able to uh, obtain a laterite from a specialty store I guess in Australia uh, where the store still carries a laterite and he bought like I uh, bought a huge bag of it I mean I wish I could we could buy it here for some reason and uh, so click on the links and go watch his videos because uh, it's pretty good and one thing that it's going to show you is that not only do people in Africa use the anoxic filtration system but here's a guy from Australia he found all the supplies and uh, he's going to start using it and here's a quick video I just did of the tank and my fish uh, they're gaining weight they're doing very good it looks like two of them have uh, kinda mm, stick together and they kinda chase off the other one now I don't know if that's you know male and female and they're chasing off the third one or if they're sticking together but uh, because of that reason but I guess we will find out but as far as their colors their body weight their size uh, the tanks going on uh, uh, nine months old and it has not had a major water change in that amount of time so these fish are living in extremely old water if you want to call it that uh, my last video I did a small water change because I had some maintenance to do on the sump and some changes I made by putting a pump where the uh, biosinosis clarification baskets were but I want to show you this video here you know <clears throat> so you can get an idea how nice the fish look and everything They're not showing any signs of but not well they're not showing any signs of starving let's put it that way I mean these things as you can see I'm trying to shoot the video and they're coming by the camera because they're looking for food you know that's that's what they're doing right now this this one right here uh, is not camera shy and uh, basically looking for some food like you know hey I, I would like to eat some more please feed me yeah see see it looking but anyhow uh, I'm sorry I'm showing close-ups, but I want to show close-ups because I want you to see the colors. I want you to see how good they're doing. Uh, this is the whole thing I want people to see in the tank. I did a little modification to my light. The light was, uh, I, as you notice, I have the light pendant with the three uh, light bulbs in it of 150 watt. I had to change the center light to a smaller light bulb of only uh, 50 watt light bulb putting out 550 uh, luminous output because it seems like my plants are getting a little too much light because the lights are just overly bright and the java fern doesn't seem to like that too overly bright light so I'm trying to uh, knock down the light a little bit uh, on that and I'm going to experiment with that of course you also have the heat problem you know these these tanks are 85 86 degrees 84 degrees a lot of plants don't like it quite that warm so we have to feel that out of what plants are going to like this very warm temperature and what plants aren't going to like it but anyhow I was just watching some videos tonight and I did watch Sean's both of his videos but some of the videos I was watching which were quite surprising is how expensive people are paying for discs five six hundred dollars a piece like like a disc like you're looking at here these discs would have went for five hundred dollars a piece so I understand where people are very very concerned about making sure they have very high quality uh, water parameters 
farther fish because the extreme expense that some people are paying for these fish is is outrageous uh, I paid nothing even near that for my fish but uh, I can understand where people now are looking at these videos very seriously yeah when you're spending three hundred five hundred dollars on a fish you you better do everything you can to keep that fish alive I mean just like these fish, I, I'm, I don't even think about them anymore. I just come home, I feed them, I look at them, they look great, they look like they're gaining weight, there's no problems with them, and from the videos I've been watching, it just isn't that way. And I really feel sorry for these people because they they're, they got hole in the head disease, they got all kinds of other problems, and, and that's absolutely terrible. And uh, I hope that if you are watching my videos that you will take heed to what I'm saying and maybe go the extra nine yards to get a very uh, good tank setup besides just a sponge filter and a bunch of water changes it seems like these fish need more than sponge filters and a lot of water changes anyhow I don't want to occupy too much of your time please watch uh, Sean's videos and the links below and uh, until next time uh, happy aquarium and happy ponding